Ingus was the first 3 star Final Fantasy 3 character, who ended up becoming a red mage anyways as a 5 star no one remembers. Thankfully, we have the exact same design here, just as a reminder, but I gotta say, his brave shift sprite is cute. Red Mage Ingus' Trustmaster reward is a materia which boosts attack and magic by a flat 500, then taking it one step further and granting a double killer against all species. It's an excellent Trustmaster reward, but of course it's limited to Final Fantasy 3 units only. His Super Trustmaster reward is a hat that boosts attack, magic, and spirit, with magic being the best stat. It also has a passive that boosts double hand magic, and gives Ingus an extra 500 magic when it's equipped to him. On to his active abilities. Ingus is packing a lot of magic spells. The white magic is decent, but can't be awakened. His chaining spells can all be awakened to stage 3. And Fira imbues fire onto your team, and boosts their fire damage by 25%. The other three are the same, but work with different elements. Fill limit burst, fills his limit burst. We shall return, boost Ingus's limit burst damage modifier, then gives him a 300% stored magic buff. It can't be used at the start of the battle though. White Slayer deals flexible magic damage that's stronger against Reapers, and Chains of Absolute Mirror of Equity. Unless you're fighting a Reaper, it's really not that great. Passers, with his Trustmaster reward or Super Trustmaster reward equipped, Ingus gets 1000 magic, and further increases the damage modifier of his magic attacks. The man has 6 strong killers, half to cut the Lana Burst damage which doesn't matter in this form, and meets the max amount for Lana Burst regen. He prefers to carry a single weapon, meaning half the cap to the chain layer boost. His normal attack has been changed to attack, which deals damage and fills his layer burst gauge by a small amount. At EX plus 2 he gets Warning Spear 2. At EX plus 3 he gets 500 magic. Let's look at his layer burst. It gives your team the ability to quadruple cast black magic, boost their magic by 300%, and then strengthens Ingus' damage modifiers for his chaining magic. It also gives him a 300% stored magic buff. Time to change forms. Red Mage Ingus has a true brave shift, which has no limitations whatsoever. On to his active abilities. Bursting Break inflicts a 80% full break on all enemies. Full Breakdown inflicts a 83% full break but only on one enemy. Flame Burst deals fire magic damage to Chains of Boating Shrike and activates an area effect on your enemy side that reduces their fire resistance by 35%. Earthquake is the same thing but Earth, and Chains of Quake. Whirlpool is the same thing but water. Wind Slash is the same thing but wind. Also, it chains a tornado. Passives. Ingus has actually lost some limit burst damage now that it does damage. Go figure. His limit burst regen has also dropped. He does have preemptive full break because he is a breaker. We can really trace the problems to breakers just having worse passives for whatever reason. His normal attack now changes to magic damage and chains affecting strike, though it still keeps the limit burst fail. He's also gained some elemental resistance, though not for light and dark. Let's look at his layup burst. Inflicts an 85% attack and magic break, and an 87% defense and spirit break. It also inflicts a 140% elemental imperil for fire, water, wind, and earth, and uses multi-elemental magic damage with the aforementioned elements. Time to make a damage rotation. Ingus' strongest rotation will really depend on what support and equipment you've got. So for the time being, I'll just go with his brave shift layup burst which only requires himself. We'll start in his Brave Shift. I'll use Fire. On turn 1, cast Full Breakdown if you need the breaks, and double cast Flame Burst. On turn 2, triple cast Flame Burst. On turn 3, cast Flame Burst, fill Lana Burst, and we shall return. On turn 4, use his Lana Burst. Repeat the rotation from here. So, EX2. Ingus's EX plus 2 can be pretty useful, depending on what you need it for. Enabling a quadruple cast for your team can really enable some tactics that may overly rely on the Aranius ring, of which you can only get one. At the very least, it's definitely great for Ingus himself, giving him a substantial boost to his modifiers and stats. Speaking of which, the x 3 is just stats, and expensive. So how good is Red Mage Ingus? The man is a damage dealer, supporter, and debuffer, so we'll look at each separate row first. As a supporter, the elemental imbues are varied and cool, but the amplification buffs are pretty subpar for a new unit. The real support here lies in his base lane burst, enabling your team to quadruple cast black magic. Unfortunately, some quadruple casting magic teams don't use any of Ingus's magic spells, or Ingus doesn't use any of their magic spells, 
so there's definitely some degree of quality that separates certain teams from others. As a debuffer, his field imperos are decent. In pure magnitude, he's outshone by Tsukiko and the crowned Esper supporters. With that being said, while his water and earth field imperos remain inferior, fire and wind are the current best of their kind. As a damage dealer, he's got potential. The damage rotation outlined earlier won't always be optimal, because it's a multi-element attack that has a good chance of being affected by strong elemental resistance. With his own buffs, his magic spell modifiers are actually pretty good, especially since they can be spam, and with external support, they can be even better. For example, Fira can receive potent support from Merilith and her Trustmaster reward, while his lightning magic can be boosted by Sakura's Trustmaster rewards, and you can throw Onion Knight in there too. Between the two, Fira will have the stronger modifier, but Lightning just has better support at the moment. Though, of course, whether or not you can provide the support is a big part of this too. Not to mention what the enemy is weak against. Overall, Inges is an interesting unit. He can tramp in certain teams, benefit certain units, and benefits from certain teams and units as well. In a vacuum, he isn't that great, but if there's anything this game is known for, it's the number of units. Still, most units are designed along the lines of Spam Bolting Strike, Cat with Lair Burst, which isn't really Ingus' game plan. Unfortunately, this also means he's relatively specialized, instead of being an easy support you can slot in without too much thinking. But nevertheless, it's nice to see a Japanese unit with distinguishable features. If only they took the trouble to do the same for other units. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, leave a like and subscribe. Comment below if you summon Red Mage Ingus, and tell me what a Geomancer is.